I'm Ed Jackson and I'm an ambassador for Berghaus and founder of the Millimeters to Mountains Foundation. So this is the kit I'll be taking up or I'll be wearing on the summit. Um, this is three layer Gore-Tex jacket, neck seasons and the adaptations we made here are the ventilation loops and this means that I can dump heat from the jacket really quickly because I have overheating issues. I only sweat from above here so the heat builds up really easily. The last thing you want to do on the mountain is sweat because then you get cold. So these zips allow me to dump heat really quickly and it means I don't have to take the jacket on and off all the time. And as you can see, it is waterproof. These are waterproof Gore-Tex again. These will be wearing these on the summit. Um, this is the leg loop to help me lift my left leg to get through deep snow, ice over rocks. And here is an extra access zip so I can get to my catheter bag to go to the toilet without having to take my trousers off. Easy access toggle because my hand doesn't work properly. So when my hand gets cold, it means I can still grip it and zip it up. Little things make such a big difference because it's all about efficiency in the mountains. So anywhere you can cut some corners, save some time, makes a big difference. So how, was it, how did it go? You know, was there anything that we need to change? I mean, it was, to be honest, it was great. I used it on both climbing, like both summit days. Dumped heat really efficiently on the shoulders. Um, actually worked almost better than I, than I could have imagined. Um, I would say things we would change, obviously you can keep improving this stuff. Um, I couldn't quite reach these zips on the back, right. um, especially when I was cold, my hands were cold. I was having to get other people to do them for me. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they were behind the rucksack. Um, also, I think across the top of the shoulders, if the zip ended up in the wrong place, it would be digging in with the rucksack. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe moving these zips a bit further around or having a more accessible toggle mm -hmm. and then just potentially one big long zip across the top. Like that's what Leo was advising. You know, often I'm climbing, but they're watching and yeah. they came up with obviously loads of good advice of how to improve stuff. But on the whole, I mean, it works an absolute treat. Yeah. So this one only has them on that side, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, so that might have also caused a bit of a problem. So if we only had them on the back, maybe we need to have them on the back and the front, so it's just got more to kind of go around. Yeah. Um, obviously this, the one that I put on, that's not been strong enough. No, that's snapped, so <laughs> I've still got a heavy leg, but the, yeah. the problem is when my leg, this leg, this leg, this leg <laughs> spasms quite a lot. And when it spasms, mm -hmm. it really kicks hard. So if I'm holding something and my yeah. leg spasms, it can bust out. So it's just reinforcing this. Mm -hmm. I think giving it that much slack as well, because we went quite tight to yeah. the leg on, went quite tight to leg on here, but sometimes if I've got to reach for my leg, it's good to have a bit of extra mm -hmm. slack. Also, if I've got a thick glove on, getting my hand underneath yeah. it, because I don't have much use of these fingers anyway, being able to use my whole hand to lift my leg. So you would say that having that length is better, because obviously what we could do, we could have two different lengths, two straps, but that might um, cause problems. I think that might that be... Extra... Would it be length? possible to have like a longer loop and then a shorter loop coming off the same... Yeah, do you know what I mean? That. Even if not, we could have it coming from one of the belt loops. There's, yeah. there's definitely a way that we could add two straps in there. The only concern was obviously having two straps. But yeah. You know, it's, it's extra things to kind of get in the way. Yeah, of course. Um, but obviously, trial and error. We could always try it, see if yeah. it does help, if it's better. This is where you can bring him for the journey. So what? Adapting yeah. yeah. So yeah, if it's, you know, we'll trial and error, we're going to obviously try that if yeah. it doesn't work. Well, exactly, because obviously no one's done this before. Yeah. So it's important that we can keep coming back to it. And actually the other thing was the, the leg, having one lower down, because I didn't expect to be climbing on this trip. Mm -hmm. But when I was, I was trying to put my foot in a place by holding my knee. But actually if I could hold my foot somehow, so having a loop lower down, yeah. um, it would make a diff big difference definitely on the steeper stuff. Mm -hmm. We could do the same, literally the same type of system, just lower down, but obviously we don't want the strap to be too long, otherwise, it's going to be yeah, so it's how do you hold. keep it tidy but still have it grabbable? Yeah, so probably just having it that little bit tighter, maybe even having it so that you just have it's it's kind of more stable to the garment rather than being so loose. So we could maybe have it so that it's like you know stable, so you can just kind of yeah. grab it at one point. Or the or or a a loop coming off the loop. Yeah. So, I mean, so that's do. tight, but then there's a grab handle mm -hmm. almost on it. Again, that might just kind of get in the way mm. of, you know, shoes, everything like that. But there's, 
again, as we're saying, you know, we're going we're gonna to try different options, see yeah. what works best. If not, we'll, we'll start again. Yeah, but honestly, it was a game changer. I actually found a rhythm on the one of the steeper bits of ice where I was being able to use, I had a constant grip of this and I was able to use my left leg and my right leg, which sounds ridiculous really, but normally I climb mountains mm -hmm. with one leg. Mm -hmm. So now I can use both in terms of energy conversation, uh, um, conservation it was a game changer <laughs> so we were halfway up a, a 600 meter rocky pitch which i never expected to be there and the strap broke and i was like oh no like <laughs> what am i gonna do now but leo without thinking just got a bit of his climbing mm -hmm. climbing strap out cut it in half tied it around my leg and the, those belt loops that you put in the back just meant yeah. that we could just sort of think on the spot and that was the sort of moral of the story really was just thinking on the spot and coming up with different yeah. ways to get around stuff because as I said, we haven't, no one's been in this position before. That's kind of what this, this is really, just kind of us improvising, seeing what's going to work best. If it doesn't work, we'll try again. Um, but hopefully, um, I think feel like we've came really far from the first time that we did this. So obviously with these changes, it's just going to be even better for you really. Yeah, yep. cool. So these ones also only have the belt loops on the back. And I think adding them on the front is just going to add that extra bit of yeah. reinforcement strength. Yeah, so I think what we could look at doing is adding two here as well. Yeah. Just so we've got that bit more. But obviously we're going to make this longer, aren't we? Make this longer yeah. or, or even add a longer bit to it because yeah. having the closer bit mm -hmm. could still be useful. And that could obviously come from the background. So you've kind of got that yeah. extra length here. That would be good. I wonder if there's a way of getting it so that you can take that longer one off or tighten it up or, I mean, do you know what I mean? Adjust the length of the strap. It is kind of like, yeah, like a... What we do obviously have like a just as you know one like salopettes anything like that where you've kind of got those straps yeah. that you adjust it we'll because when i'm it, like it's, it's useful to have a longer one when i'm climbing or and yeah. then it depends on the steepness of the terrain i don't think i've got any of those here but obviously i could definitely get some in yeah. um then we could have a look at that maybe rather than having the two straps just a sort of system where you can lengthen it obviously adjust it yeah that might be better and it just means that you know, it's not always, you're not going to have those two kind of straps yeah. there, which might cause more problems. So I'm thinking maybe we'll add another belt loop here. Yeah. And we'll make this longer. Yeah, great. And then the ankle. Yeah. Um, now, I'm not sure whether it's something that should be attached to the foot or the, foot. Or the bottom of the trousers. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like the ideal reach for you, where would that be? Well, this is only, I only realise this when I'm climbing because usually I'm walking upright, so mm -hmm. I'm here. But when I was so climbing, like I was one. having to move my foot into the next position. Right. But I was just trying to grab my foot splint and grab laces. So if I could have some sort of loop that would control here. the ankle here, mm -hmm. it would make a big difference. And obviously you would have, you would have these trousers over, wouldn't you? Or would it be under that? Yeah, either those trousers, these trousers or those trousers. Mm -hmm. And they would be over the top, so we could over essentially put something here. It's not like it's going to be no. hidden. I think probably the best option would be to have something here. Yeah. It's basically a similar type of system, but yeah. just not as long. Mm. You don't want, you pr to be honest, just like this one. Yeah, yeah. So basically we want to be moving this kind of more to this area. Yeah, so up round there is difficult to reach for some time, mm -hmm. but if we've got it to start lower so in here. Yeah, I think that would be a good place for us to start. Obviously, once I've kind of got these on, I'll do the exact measurements yeah. and make sure we've got the right length. And obviously, talking about the toggle, we could possibly look at adding just similar kind of system, but just something that little bit longer. So you, if it's here, you've just got a better reach. Yeah. And then the one across oh, the yeah. shoulders, I think, because these it was where these and zips ended up was sometimes underneath my rucksack. Right. If it was scrunched up, whereas if there was one zip, across the so it was this area that was it's yeah. not the zip it's this area that yeah, was kind of just sitting in the wrong place in the wrong place would it be better for you to have that longer zip just for more ventilation you know it's almost like yeah, opening a backpack just get it yeah, yeah it's opening a backpack and that is what this was leo's suggestion actually yeah we're taking it all the way yeah and then obviously this would sit there which yeah. is just and then also it's probably easier for you to reach as well then you know you might need someone to kind yeah. of help get it over this get way over but, the top, but it's still going to be easier, it's still going to be more comfortable. Yeah. So I think what we do next time is just kind of follow the same position of the zip, but kind of have it coming all the way along here. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Give it another go. Yeah. 
Definitely. Round two. Three. Three, yeah. <laughs> Being part of this whole process is so exciting. I mean, how often do you get to go behind the scenes of a big outdoor brand and work with the individuals that are adapting kit? I mean, it's not just the journey we're on. Everyone's disability is different. As you've seen, it's a work in progress because every adaptation has to suit each individual. And the fact that Burghaus are willing to do that for all the individuals, it does feel like we're at the start of something very special here.